Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Kirby's Epic Yarn for the Nintendo Wii. And uh, a friend of mine named Ozgamer82, he uh, actually found this Epic W on special and uh, he helped me out in getting it. So uh, thanks a lot for that mate, I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, so I figured we'd take a look. It's got a very nice uh, aesthetic in the game and that transitions perfectly to the box art. So of course we can see here Kirby made of yarn and he's using his little whiff attack that he has in the game to unravel the top of the box. And uh, yeah, obviously a lot of thought has been put into the presentation of this because it's not just uh, composite images from the game or renders from promotional art or anything like that. So you can see that the part that he's peeling away, we have Yin Yarn in front of a starry background, Yin Yarn being the villain of this game. We can see all the different patchwork details, uh, including the little, uh, oh, what are they called? The I can't really remember what they're called, but they're, they're collectibles of the game. And we also have a horned enemy over here. We have the two-player character Prince Puff down there. Uh, we've got a Waddle Dee over here. And overall, it just looks really nice. It's got a lot of style to it. But uh, moving on, on the side here, we actually have Kobe's Epic Yarn written in a bit of a different font. But uh, unfortunately, it's a bit flatter than what appears on the front of the box. But anyway... On the side, we can see that uh, we have a tagline, an all-round hero in an epic tangle. So the kingdom of Patchland is unraveling and it's up to Kirby to save the day. Take control of a hero with the power to transform into everything from a submarine to a robotic tank as you weave your way through an adventure unlike anything you've ever seen. And of course showing some of different Kirby's different abilities through uh, some of the yarn-based renders they did. But, uh, you know, we get a lot of different screenshots of how the game looks, and it's, in my opinion, it's definitely one of the best-looking games on the Wii. It's just got so much style and creativity in it. It's, it's really fantastic. Transformations and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, just showing off what the game has to offer. And of course, this was a collaboration between Good Feel and How Laboratory. Now on the disc, we actually get something very creative, and it reminds me a lot of what uh, we've seen with certain Mario games on the Wii, uh, and actually the Wii U as well. And basically what it is, is that you get the world map from the game, which is spherical, and it's applied to the disc. And it just works really well, it's a very effective technique that makes your disc really stand out. So I always appreciate it when developers take the extra time and effort to make something you know, look really good like this. But, uh, yeah. So, of course, we have all the different worlds on there, and it's printed in quite high-quality manner. And, of course, we have Kirby and Prince Puff up the very top here. But, moving on, we get an exciting uh, Club Nintendo voucher thingamabob. So, there you go. Don't worry about using it, by the way, I've already done that. But, uh, we get an exciting health and safety precautions booklet. And, of course, we get our manual, which uh, is in full colour and is quite nice. But on the front, we actually get some unique imagery. So we get uh, Kirby and Prince Puff popping out from behind a doorway. And, of course, you know, some more of that great texture and uh, style to the image. But if we flip it out, we can see that we actually get the full house. We get a little thing here that you could uh, rip open in the game. And you get a very cute family of uh, yarn-based Waddle Dees huddling together in a window. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of adorable. But uh, moving on, inside, we can see that there's actually a lot of uh, styles of the manual as well. So we have the curtain style appearance right there. Uh, we have go over the story, so we've got some great imagery here. And it basically is exactly the same as uh, you know, the way the game begins. Uh, basically most of the same text and stuff like that, but I appreciate it being very nonetheless. So you get plenty of screenshots, you can see the aesthetic of the manual changes. But, uh, here we are. Uh, so we get some renders of Kirby doing all his different actions in a very, uh, very Mario 64 manual style, uh, well style I guess you could say. Um, but, yeah, so we get him, you know, walking, where he's, uh, when he's running, of course, he turns into a car, crouching, uh, climbing and descending a ladder, uh, going behind and in front of a layer of fabric, 
Turning into things like the submarine, the uh, the parachute, the weight, just jumping. So yeah, I always love it when developers do stuff like this. They've got all the different renders for all the different characters' moves. I think actually this is uh, also very similar to the Kirby 64 manual. I I think I remember that in pretty good detail, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. Unraveling enemies and uh, swinging on things and. Undoing zippers and you know all the different actions of the game it conveys everything very well. Turning into a, a tank and uh, you know an off-roader and a flying saucer. Exploring patch land and again the aesthetic keeps changing. So uh, lots of different things. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all. For it. Aside from that, it's just a manual that of course takes you through all the different mechanics. There's not a whole bunch of lore or anything like that to cover with a Kirby game. But yeah, so that's that. That has been your look at Kirby's Epic Yarn for Nintendo Wii. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.